Larkin Court is the only former slave to be recognized as a national hero in Antigua and Barbuda. This legendary figure began what historians believe paved the way for the freedom enjoyed by the descendants of millions of African slaves today. You might know him as Prince Class. In fact, that's the designation given to the street named in his honor. But not everyone's happy with this title. Researcher Dr. Radcliffe Robbins believes it's a historical error in need of correction. The historical record does not give us the name Prince Class. So we need to use the correct name which is King Court and his African or Akan name which is Taki. Records indicate Court was shipped to Antigua from Africa in the early 18th century when he was only about 10 years old. The young African became the property of plantation owner Thomas Kirby and soon rose to the rank of head slave. Dr. Robbins believed Taki was of royal lineage and found it difficult to adapt to life as a slave. This of course was only an added discomfort to the already shockingly bad conditions faced by the enslaved people. Slaves were forced to work the fields, supervised by overseers who were all too quick to use the whip to keep workers in line. Tasks included clearing lands, planting sugarcane, and harvesting cane by hand. Slaves then had to endure inhumane conditions in boiling houses where vast fires were kept roaring day and night to heat the plant to refine its juices and extract the sugar. The death rate on the plantations was extremely high due to overwork, poor nutrition, deplorable working conditions, brutality and disease. It was against this backdrop that a plot was conceived in 1735 to revolt against the white planters and all they stood for in the colony. King Court led the band of rebels with a mission to make the enslaved people masters of their own destiny. The King George II coronation was to have been celebrated on October the 11th, 1736 at Government House. The idea was that they would have had now most of this population of um, planters or enslavers in one place. The idea was to blow up the ballroom with the enslavers in it. That explosion would act as a signal that would cause already organized groups of people to take over the port and the harbor, take over the militias, take over the forts, march into St. John's, take over the estate houses, and in this way control the island. However, the plot was discovered and 88 slaves were brutally executed on October 26, 1736, including Court, who was broken at the wheel. Broken at the wheel means there is a wheel about the proximate size of a body, about six feet diameter, and the body is pulled tight and strapped on it. And then each bone from the fingers moving inwards is broken with a mallet while the body is horizontal. Starting with one arm, going on the other arm, then on the legs. And when every single bone would have been broken, the wheel is then put upright. Of course, you cannot support the body weight at that time. And the individual dies of shock and exhaustion. The date of the execution is now being recognized as National Heroes Day in Antigua and Barbuda. Though the revolt was unsuccessful, historians believe the attempt should be viewed as an example of bravery to be emulated, as descendants of African slaves continue to aspire to take control of their destiny. Today, in memory of their task,